Update 19 is here, but there is a big delay in game and we haven't quite got the update yet, but we can't go over the dev block to see what changes we can expect. So of course, starting out, we have the lucky tiles event. So let's see if this gives us any information on what we can expect. From the looks of it, this really isn't an explanation, so we'll just keep going and look for that later on. So here it gives a little more information. It says the rave world. Get to the dance floor at the end of the new world, hop onto any lucky tile and cross your fingers. Pants for three huge pets, gifts, and more. Okay, I still don't really understand what that means even after reading all that, but I'm sure we'll understand more as we go through here. I mean, just right off the bat though, this rave world looks absolutely sick. I actually really enjoy the way this looks, and I kind of like how they didn't try to go too crazy on the design and like put a bunch of unnecessary stuff. So this actually looks really cool. So here in this picture, we can see that dance floor that they were talking about that's at the end of this rave world. And on the screen, we can see lucky tiles, 5,000 out of 10,000. Break to shuffle the tiles for rewards. All right, so I guess that does make sense. So once we hit 10,000 broken breakables and you're standing on one of these squares, it's going to give you a randomized reward, it seems like. And it could be anything from this list right here. So there's a huge, there's the rave gift bag, the rave tiles, the rave trading booth, and a rave hoverboard. So that's all the lucky stuff, I guess. And then here you're going to be able to see who's getting these rave huges. I guess we'll be able to see how often this huge actually drops. Then we have the typical unlock zone. So it's just going to be the regular kind of zone method that we've had in the past to get to the final area of this specific world. All right, so hatch new eggs, lots of new eggs to hatch, crack them open. Chance to get a new huge UV cat in the final egg. Okay, that's really interesting. Let me move my face here so you guys can see this egg on the left. But as you can see, this egg on the left has some cool little sunglasses and it looks like it's ready for a dance party. So very in theme right there. We also have seven new rave pets that I guess are just all going to be stat pets from the looks of it. And all of these are going to be included in these four new eggs that we got. Now, here's where it starts to get interesting. Here are our limited time huge pets. So we have new huge pets found in rave gifts, final egg, and even given as lucky tile rewards. So the huge rave troll is actually going to be inside those rave gifts that we get from being on the dance floor. And then we have the huge UV cat, which they already said earlier in this dev blog that you can get it from the final egg in this world. So that's going to be cool. And then we have the huge UV Kitsune, which is going to be earned from the Lucky Tile event. So I guess this huge UV Kitsune, as well as the huge Rave Troll, are both going to be earned from the Lucky Tile event. Because you get the Rave Gift Bags from doing the Lucky Tile event. And then I guess you get the chance of this huge as well. So this huge is not the one that's going to be in the gift. They are separate huges, which is cool. Definitely cool to get some more free-to-play content. And this is what they're going to look like. This one is really sick. I actually really want this huge right here. It definitely seems like a Day of the Dead themed huge. And I actually really like this uh, color scheme and design. But moving on, we have the Lucky Tile event explained a little further. So hop onto any lucky tile and cross your fingers. Each time the board shuffles, you get a reward that you're standing on. So Okay, this is a much more clear picture of what we can expect to see. So I guess when you're grinding, you're going to want to be on one of these squares. And then once you reach that 10,000 breakables broken, you're going to be able to get one of these rewards. So that's pretty cool. From the looks of it, you guys are definitely going to need a specific setup for being able to break these breakables as fast as possible. So I'll definitely have a video on that later on. So look forward to that. But as you can see, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's nine tiles. So it's nine by nine, which is 81 minus the one in the middle. So there's 80 tiles in total. And one of those tiles has the chance to be the huge. So honestly, depending on how fast we're going to be able to get through 10,000 breakables, it seems like you're going to have a very high chance during this event to get this huge. And then even besides the huge, there are a ton of these gift bags on the board, which is also going to give you a chance at a huge. So this honestly might be a really good free to play friendly event for people. Obviously, you're going to need a good team of pets to actually be able to farm 10,000 breakables. But even then, that's still a very high chance of getting a huge for free. So if we scroll down here, it says complete the break goal of 5,000 breakables to shuffle the tiles for rewards. All right. So I'm not sure if it really is 5,000 or 10,000, like it said earlier. Down here, it says lucky tiles 5,000 out of 10,000 break to shuffle the tiles for rewards. So honestly, from the way they've said it, I'm 
thinking that this might be wrong right here and it actually is 10,000 that you need to break to shuffle the tiles. Big Games does tend to make some mistakes in these dev blogs so I would assume that the picture is the most accurate information and not the typing that they've done. But moving on, we have the Lucky Live feed, which is what we already kind of went over. It's pretty basic. You can just see the lucky stuff that people get. The new global event is going to be whoever can do the most lucky tile shuffles. So whoever is grinding the most breakables, pretty much. One thing I am curious to see is if we're going to be able to use all of our pets. And if we are going to be able to use all of our pets in this new area, I think we definitely could see a little inflation as everybody's just going to be grinding and grinding. So people are going to be earning a lot more diamonds than we were in this past update. And honestly, not even just this past update, the past two updates, because there was a part two to the good versus evil event world. And then it says participate in the lucky tile shuffles. That's how we're going to be able to do the global event quest. It does seem like these are going to drop a lot less because it seems like it's going to take a while to do each of these quests if it takes five tile shuffles for all 25 of the little missions to get a global event gift bag. So potentially from this, we could see the value of these go up a little bit just as they are dropping a little bit less. But who knows about that? So now we have those lucky tiles that we went over in the leaks video from yesterday. Basically, these enhance your chances of landing on rare and valuable items. Step onto any tile, use the boost, and watch your luck electrify. The regular boost increases luck by 100, the ultra boost by 500%. And then you can get these from the global event, lucky tiles, and rave gifts. I'm pretty curious to see how this actually plays out. It kind of doesn't really make sense the more they explain it. Because if you use one of these lucky tile boosts and you are in a server with somebody else, does it steal the luck from their side? And like, what if they use a lucky tile boost at the same time? Or maybe you can't even be in this area with somebody else and none of that really matters, but... Definitely more questions than answers. And then these are those two tiles that we saw. And then the other thing you have a major chance at besides the huge in that new game mode is these rave gifts, which gives you a chance for the huge rave troll as well as the lucky tile boost and the new booth and hoverboard. So very cool. Let's try to fly through the rest of this. We've pretty much seen all of this other stuff. All right, so the new huge and titanic kit soon is actually going to be found in the new rave pack. So this is not a new exclusive egg. So my investment suggestion from yesterday was completely wrong, but I did warn you guys there was some risk because we didn't get a new leaked egg. But that means in this update, they actually broke that streak of exclusive eggs only being available for two weeks at a time. So who knows how long this exclusive egg might last. I doubt it would last past three weeks, but honestly, Big Games is so inconsistent with everything they do. It's kind of hard to predict stuff like this. So I guess this Kitsune Fox is just going to be a new pay to win huge in Titanic. So who really cares about that? But I guess it did replace the Titanic rich cat as well as the huge rich cat that were in these packs before. So instead of those two things, you can now get these Kitsune Foxes. So that's very interesting. Still not going to buy anything in this forever pack, but now we're moving on to these player profiles. So it seems like these are the quality of life changes. So showcase your player profiles on the trading plaza, track your stats, showcase equipped pets, compare stats. Great for finding members to recruit to your clan. But inside the little profile, we can see that join date, play time, eggs opened, active huge pets opened. That's going to be really interesting to see. Honestly, I want to know how much active huge pets I've opened. And then we could see the zones unlocked as well. So that's very cool. And then we have this long awaited item keybinds. So this is going to be very fun as well. Sign your favorite items to specific keys for quick and easy access. Whether you're in the heat of a raid or need a boost in a pinch, locate it in the settings menu. So this is really cool. And you can also do it like a two-part keybind, which is really nice. Now, this is a feature from Big Game, so I expect there is going to be a lot of bugs with this feature, probably in the whole next week. But if this feature works fully on release, I will be very surprised. All right, next up, we actually have that charm quality of life change that I think we saw in the leaks from last week that actually never made it into the update. So we're going to be able to manage our charms with less headache. They made changes to add, remove, and destroy multiple charms at a time. So this is a great addition and definitely something that should have been in the game from day one. And it's going to look something like this in this menu. And then we also got this selector dial quality of life. So take control with the new selector dial which essentially should make it easier to select a specific amount of an item. So you could set the dial to be the maximum 5,000 at a time. 
And then in the daycare, you can set it to the maximum and roll amount. So hopefully this should make it easier to do pretty much anything in the game that requires selecting a certain amount of pets. And then they remind us that you can shift click to select the max amount of anything. So that should be a pretty good change as well. And then finally, we are at the end of the dev blog. And honestly, these other fixes are usually the most important and sometimes the biggest changes. So number one, they actually buffed the diamond gift bag hunter. So this is very interesting to hear. I don't know if they necessarily increase the amount of diamonds you get per gift bag, but from the way they worded it, it sounds like they might have increased how often these diamond gift bags drop instead. To me, that sounds the most logical because of the way that they worded this. Because if they were to actually increase how much diamonds you get per diamond gift bag, they would have said they buffed the diamond gift bag and not the actual enchant themselves. So if they buffed the enchant itself, then I assume they just meant that they upped the drop rate for these diamond gift bags, which is just as good. Probably a very good change. And this also could start inflation as well, depending on how much they actually buffed it. But only time will tell for that change. And then they also changed changed inventory to save position while opening gifts. So this is a big quality of life change that I would have liked when I was making all of those videos about opening large and small gift bags all the time. This would have saved me so much time. And then besides that, they also changed the auto hatch setting to stay on now unless turned off which should be a good change as well because it is kind of annoying with the auto hatch just turning off all the time when you don't want it to. They fixed the VIP gate, which I don't think really anybody cares about that. Fixed the notch on mobile hiding buttons. Fixed magic orb and other orb enchants in mini games. So this is really interesting. I wonder if this means like when the orbs start shooting off into outer space. I guess it seems like they fixed that. So this actually might make the value of those orb enchants go up a little bit as it seems like they will be more useful in future mini games. So some people might interpret that change as an additional benefit for that enchant. They also fixed mailbox issues, which they definitely need to because it is so hard giving things away on this game because the mailbox is just always broken for no reason at all and that seems like pretty much it let's actually hop into this update and see what changed all right you guys so we're finally in game and we have the new lucky tiles event world here so let's actually head in and see this for ourselves all right you guys so we're here in the rave world but i still have to do these missions to get to the final area and i already yapped enough about all of these changes so i don't want to make the video too long so i'll just cut to when i'm at the end so i know i said i would cut to the end but i did want to mention that we can only use 15 huges at a time so i don't know why they keep doing events like this where we can only use 15 of our pets when we're supposed to have up to 99 slots so this is pretty annoying and i hope big games just doesn't toot stuff like this in the future even if they just made breakables harder to break i think that is a lot better of a change than only letting us use 15 of our pets when we've been saving up all of these pets all this time now, one thing I just thought of that we could do while we're grinding this final area is to actually set those keybinds. So here in the settings menu, there is an edit option for these keybinds. So first, it prompts you to pick a specific item. So for this example, we will pick hasty flags because I do use a lot of hasty flags when I play the game. And I think this will be good for the final area of this event. So once you confirm that, you're actually going to get this little option here where you can bind a specific key. So for this example, I'll just do like L or something and then save it. And hopefully it actually works. So I'll press L here and yeah, it, it actually does work. So, so if I keep using L, if I keep pressing L on my keyboard, it, it's going to keep placing one hasty flag at a time. That is actually really cool. I'm surprised it works as well. I honestly did not have that much faith in big games with this change. So that is actually really cool that it works and it just actually works smoothly. And actually one thing that I didn't think of that would actually be a lot easier now is actually opening things like large gift bags. I didn't really even think about this as an item. So let's actually bind this and let's just bind this to something like P, save it, press OK, and then see what happens when we press P. That's actually really big. And you can even see the large gift bag being opened here on the right while we do this. That's actually a very cool little thing they paid attention to. So now we can actually open these gift bags without having our inventory open, which was a big pain in the past. Now I wanted to key bind something like the Comet, but you actually can't use any of those things in this new area world. So that's kind of unfortunate. But let me quit messing around and let me get to this final area 
just so I could show you guys this new content. All right, you guys, so we are here at the final area and it looks like the lucky tiles is only out of 500. So I'm not sure what this is about. We're about to hit it and see what kind of reward we can get. I'm actually going to stand right here because I feel like this is the lucky tile where we're going to get this huge. So hopefully we can get it and it's shuffling. So hopefully we can get it. I just saw the huge go by. There it is. It's so close to us, actually. And all we got was eight crystal keys. Hey, that's actually pretty good still. So in between these lucky tile events, there is a 20 second cooldown. So none of the breakables that we break in between these lucky tiles are going to count for this. But yeah, it seems like it's only 500 breakables it takes to actually get through this. So that seems kind of crazy to me. And honestly, probably being in a public server might even be better with this change because I'm not sure if you can even fully clear an area by yourself with 15 cubes maximum. So it actually might be better to be in a public server for this update just so you can get these lucky tiles as quickly as possible and get a chance at this new huge. And if we look at the feed over here, a ton of people are actually getting this huge. Just like 30 minutes into the update, all these people have gotten these huges and i've seen a lot of gold ones as well but we're getting our second shuffle here so let's try to get lucky and actually get this huge it's a one in 80 chance and it looks like we got 12 crystal keys again so that's honestly not that bad though 12 crystal keys every few minutes honestly adds up especially if we're going to be grinding overnight doing this these drops honestly might be a little too good so i'm not sure if big games might actually go ahead and change how often you can actually get this item shuffle because it seems like we're going to be able to get this stuff back to back to back and we're actually getting our third shuffle happening right now so let's see if we can actually get it this time we just got a damage six potion so that's the worst that we've gotten so far but honestly, this seems really good and this update seems really cool so far. And actually one thing that I think they did really well is they actually included the egg for this final area right in the middle. So you can actually open the egg while standing on a tile and getting your rewards. So that is a very cool change from them. Now, while this new rave world is pretty cool, I'm actually going to head into the trading plaza so we can actually see those other quality of life changes like the dial and the new player profiles. So if we actually head here into the trading plaza, we can test out this new feature and check on somebody's profile. So this is actually a lot more than the leaks that we got. We can see pretty much everything about somebody. So let me actually check out my profile on this account and let's see how much huges we've opened in total we joined on this account on december 18th of 2023 and we have a total of what is that 165 days of playtime that is actually crazy we've opened a total of 37 active huge pets from 159 million eggs opened i think this past update was the first time i actually opened eggs in quite a while so this is pretty good you can actually see how many of the keys that you've opened for the different kinds of chests so this is actually going to be really cool. I haven't really opened any keys on this account, but I would definitely like to see on my trading account how many of these crystal chests I've opened because I know I've used tens of thousands of these keys before. So this is all really cool. Very cool information to have, actually. Definitely going to be some flexing of people to see how many active huges they've opened, as well as other stuff in the game. Besides that, let's actually open a booth and test out this new dial that they were talking about. Grab something that has a bunch of items like these damage two potions. And let's just see how this actually works. All right, so I guess this dial basically just makes it so the max that you can select is 5,000, which I guess kind of makes sense. This isn't the way I thought they were going to change the dial. So I guess in everything that you can only select 5,000 in, it's only going to allow you to select 5,000, which I guess should make things easier for that. And then if you're in something like the daycare, it's only going to allow you to select however many daycare slots you have in the dial. So honestly, all of that does make sense. But honestly, I was kind of hoping for a better dial system than that. But either way, it's still a pretty good change. And I honestly like this profile change a lot as well. Now I'm going to begin testing different loadouts so I can make that video later on on the best loadout to get those new rave items. So if you enjoyed this video, remember to give it a like and subscribe for more pet simulator content. And remember to look out for that video later on tonight. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.